Today we're looking at five more models of Taisho Kodo, however this time we're looking at the electric pickups of them. Now to start we have three that are definitely meant to be electrics. As acoustics they just don't quite cut the grade. We have the Peacock Harp Zui Show model. It has a really interesting pickup design. The pickups sound a little muted but it gives it kind of an old school retro vibe which fits with the design. These ones are also a little special in that they have 29 keys which is more than general. These have a volume control but no tone control knob and come in a couple different variations. Some have a little Zui Show sign on the front, some have square keys, some have circle keys, and there's other minor variations. Then we have the Kinden Ryu Baika model. There is a soprano version and an alto version, though today we're looking at the alto version. I do like that this one is pretty quiet acoustically, though the pickup I'm not a huge fan of. I think it sounds a little harsh, but the tone control knob on this one has quite a range, so you can change it up. You will hear kind of a weird tone with this one. I did, for an experiment, put a string across the very top of the fretboard and one across the very bottom. The shaping of the keys makes it pretty hard to get the right pressure to get the right tone out of both of those strings all the way across the fretboard. I could have alleviated this by putting both strings on top, both strings on bottom, but that wasn't the point. I put a lot of stock in key pressure on these devices, so I wasn't too pleased with this. Next up we have the Comnix CK210. I did an entire documentary on Comnix, and this has four in the line. There's two sopranos, an alto, and a bass. Today we're looking at the Soprano Type 1. It's a bit smaller than the others, has a nice twang, and the tone control is fantastic. You get a really unique sound from this one due to the dual pickup system as well as the fretless setup. After this we have a model which is both acoustic and electric. Kingen. This one is a little wordplay. Kingen can mean golden string, and that's why this is golden colored, but the keen kanji here is for Kodo. I chose it for this because it has a very distinct type of pickup that makes everything sound a little more staccato. It's something you may not be into, but it definitely fills a niche for me. With that said, it does also sound great acoustically. And then finally we have a Xenon device. The model number on this one is a little weird, it's just labeled with the Okayama Taisho Koto Lovers Association. I'm sure this is just some other model rebranded for this club, but I'm not sure what that is. I chose this one more as a baseline. It sounds amazing acoustically, and that's more what it's designed towards. That said, you'll see an embedded pickup kind of popping through the top of the wood. The pickup here definitely isn't an afterthought. It's not just some aftermarket pickup screwed on the hole. It is embedded in the device. That said, it seemed more of a secondary to me than the acoustic properties of it. Now, with that being the theory behind it, I was surprised. This was an amazing device and one of my favorites. The pickup has a nice twang and great dynamic range. It doesn't have a tone control knob on this one, but I can always use an EQ pedal. And now that you've heard all of the intros and my pre-judgments, I'll let you judge for yourself with some demos.
If you enjoyed, then like and subscribe. For support or samples, Patreon site. If you hate my content, I will not lie. To the corner I go, where I will cry.